Here we are in ChatGPT. You simply go up to your icon. Mine happens to be the plus and you choose settings. And once you choose settings, you've got several options. We're going to choose personalization, custom instructions, and then this is what you want ChatGPT to call you. What do you want it to know? I want to know as a professor of instructional technology. Then you have what traits should ChatGPT have? So when you customize ChatGPT and you see this prompt, like what traits should ChatGPT have, it's asking you to describe the personality, style, and approach you want ChatGPT to have when it's interacting to you. So these are traits or qualities. You might want friendly and encouraging, where it uses positive language, it motivates you. You might be direct and concise, where it gets straight to the point, no fluff. You might want to be detail-oriented and thorough, so it gives in-depth answers, or humorous and lighthearted, where it makes jokes, formal and professional, uses a business-like tone, or empathetic and supportive, where it may be sensitive and considerate in its responses. So this is how ChatGPT is tuned to respond to you to fit your preferences to make it more enjoyable for you to interact with ChatGPT. Now, once you've entered that in, I might want to be friendly and professional. Whoops. But if you are stuck, you can always say, oh, I want to be talkative and um, conversational, or I want to be, you know, talk like a member of Gen Z. I, I don't even know what that means, but you could do that. But then once you do that, you can also add anything else. So what I've done here is I said, I focus on the field of learning and development, helping others to learn and providing professional guidance. And I want it to write in the style and format of Dr. Carl Kopp. Because I've been out on the web and have a lot of things out there, it can write in that style and format. If not, here's a trick where you can get it to write in your particular style. So, so once I've done this, I've already saved it. So I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to X out of this. And here I am, like what's on your mind. And I'm going to say, um, so I'm going to say analyze this document for writing style, tone, and approach. And I'm going to grab a document that I've written called Where's the Design? And I copy it in there, and it's going to give me those traits. So we'll analyze this document. I'll say, OK, Carl calls me Carl. It's conversational and relatable. It's direct and assertive. It's repetitive for emphasis. <laughs> I put a lot of repetition in my writing, which is not always good. It gives me my tone. It gives me my uh, approach. And so it's actually analyzing a document. And then what I'm going to do, as you probably already guessed it, is I'm going to copy this information here. And you could copy this many different ways. You could come down here, and, and you could copy here as well. But I, I don't want to do that because I don't want to get the table. Anyway, I go back to my um, settings. I go back to personalization. I go back to custom instructions. I come down here. And now I can enter that information. So again, if you don't have a lot of content on the web, you can simply enter that information. Now notice I have exceeded, you know, you can see that it's in red. So I've exceeded a little bit of the length that I'm allowed to do here. So what I can do is I can delete some of it. Delete this, delete this. And then once you get down to not having red, you're in, you're good to go. And you simply hit save, and that's going to save that personality. So now when I chat with ChatGPT, it's going to be in that style and tone. And so there you have it. Quick way to personalize ChatGPT.